Hi, I'm Kes Bracey. This is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma Component Tips. You can get creative with how you use and combine components to allow you to propagate changes throughout your design really quickly. So for example, here I have a rectangle with rounded corners. That's one component and I have the text that's a separate component. I have two different instances of the rectangle down here and two different instances of the text. And if I want to change the rounding of the corners throughout all of these buttons, then I can just do so by adding in a change and that's going to propagate across all of the buttons. But at the same time, if I change the fill color here, then only this instance is going to be changed because I've already modified this instance, changing its fill and stroke color, separating it from the original component. And separately, I can change the characteristics of the text that I'm using with the button. So I can change the font to something else. And that's going to propagate across all of my buttons including if I need to reposition it to adjust to the modified font face. So think about how you can break down your components into ways that are going to allow you to recombine them so that they're easily reusable and updatable throughout your design. If you want to create symmetry or mirroring, then create a component out of one half of whatever it is that you want to have as a mirrored shape. Duplicate the shape by holding down Alt and dragging. Then press Shift H to flip that shape. And now, when you modify the original shape, the second shape is going to be mirrored along with it and you can create that symmetry and mirroring that you're looking for. You can use components to create seamlessly tiling backgrounds and repeating patterns. So first create a single tile at whatever size you need your pattern to be. Then you can duplicate it a couple of times. Just hold down Alt and drag. You'll need a couple of copies of it so that you can make sure that everything is seamless in every direction. Now, if you make changes to the original component, so I can drag this to make sure that everything lines up properly. Then you can tweak that original tile, see that everything is matching up seamlessly. Then you'll be able to export that original component as a standalone image and use it wherever you need to have seamless tiling. So those are three tips to help you working with Figma components. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.